What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick with another minifig showcase. Really quick before we begin, I need to send a huge shout out to Chandler G for supporting me at the $5 producer level on my Patreon. Thank you so much for your support as it really does go a long way towards helping this channel continue. Today's minifigure is eBay Engineerio's Season 7 Prototype Echo. If you haven't seen Season 7 of The Clone Wars, this is probably a little bit of a spoiler. CT-1409, also known as Echo, was originally part of Domino Squad alongside other troopers like Fives or Heavy. On his first real mission, he was tasked with guarding the Reese Station moon base, where he and his other troopers successfully did so. Serving well through the Clone Wars, Echo was eventually promoted to the rank of Arc Trooper. Echo was then tasked with a mission to the planet Lola Seyu, where he was to be part of a team meant to rescue Jedi Master Evan Piel and retrieve coordinates to the Nexus route, and it was on this mission that Echo seemingly died. Having been turned into a cyborg and used as a weapon of war for the Separatists, he was eventually saved by his longtime friend Captain Rex with the assistance of Anakin Skywalker and Clone Force 99. And after being rescued, Echo in fact decided to join Clone Force 99, also known as the Bad Batch. As I said, this minifigure does come from eBay Engineerio, and it is a very interesting mix of a figure. The printing on the helmet seems to have been done very well, and it seems to be very well aligned. The lines are smooth and the colors are bright, until you look at the top of the helmet, until you can see the blue fade out, and it looks like the helmet was carved. Now, this is something I did on old LEGO clones when I wanted to turn them from Phase 1 into Commandos, and also I need to say that it wasn't something I realized until I was taking this closer look. I'm not entirely certain if this helmet is an official LEGO helmet, or if it is like a resin casted or something. I'm pretty sure it might have been an ARC helmet, and eBay engine Engineerio removed the fin from the back. Again, it's something you don't really notice unless you're taking a closer look, but admittedly it is a little strange to see on a figure worth $32. Subsequently, I'm also not entirely certain what's going on with the actual head here. At first I thought it was an old Clone Wars head with the added details, but the eyes seem off as do the colors as a whole. That doesn't mean it looks bad, I actually do like how it looks. The body printing is really interesting, because there is some really good line work here. The printing here looks like Season 7 Echo. There's really good line work, and some parts are intentionally worn out. There's no bleeding of the colors, and the colors are both very bright when they need to be, or dark when they need to be. But there's also no toe printing, which really stands out here. And unfortunately, there's no printing on the sides at all. All that wonderful detail which exists on the front doesn't exist anywhere else. So if you're looking at this from the front, it is a fantastic figure, but if you're looking at it from anywhere else, it leaves a little bit to be desired. There are two things I want to very quickly point out before I continue on to Echo's arm. First, the listing for this does very clearly state that the helmet has been sanded and some variation will occur. I'm not certain if saying it was sanded is the correct term as this has very clearly been cut, but they're not trying to hide that from you either. But, and I know this is something that they just cut and paste, the same description says that this figure is customized with printing on all sides. And as I just showed you, and as you can see on the eBay listing, that is clearly not true. Which is a shame, because the printing on this is fantastic. eBay Engineerio says they only use LEGO parts, which is why I'm pretty sure the helmet is an official ARC helmet that was modified, and that's also the reason why Echo's arm is now a hook. Again, slight spoilers for those of you who haven't seen the Clone Wars, but his arm was modified. It doesn't quite look like this, but in terms of using genuine Lego parts, this is as close as one might get. And it's actually not that bad at all, the printing on this arm is very nice and makes up for it. Also, you do get this custom printed stand when you purchase this from eBay Engineerio. Overall, this figure is a little bit of a mix. The printing that is there is really good, but it's not printed on all sides like is claimed. Pause for passing plane. The helmet looks good except for the sanded part. The arm isn't really super accurate, 
but it doesn't look bad either. This figure is currently sold out on his eBay page, but if it ever goes back in stock, I would still recommend picking it up. Or if you want, for the same exact price, you can pre-order minifigs for used version, which should release in just a few weeks. In any case, that's all I have for you today. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember to like if you liked what you saw, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you to all of my patrons who help continue making this channel happen. If you want to join them, the link for that is in the description down below. And please don't forget that this guy is part of my massive giveaway that ends on Tuesday. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you then.